Hello everyone. Hello Gabe. It's uh, been a little bit since I've streamed. Last week I was kind of sick, of his, sick as a dog. <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better now, so that's great. Because, whew, that, that, it's never fun to be sick. I, I don't get sick very often, but when I do, it's like, ugh. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm feeling more myself, finally. I've still kind of got a cough going on, though it, anyone who was there on Friday probably saw that too. <coughs> mm. Sorry. But why don't we get into Bloodstained? I've been wanting to get back into this game. Because, uh, <laughs> I really like Castlevania. Castlevania has been a series that I have dabbled in for a good chunk of my life, actually. <laughs> oh. Okay, good to see that the uh, PlayStation controller decided to turn itself off. There we go. And yes, quack noises. I'm probably going to do a restructuring of the sound effects later and have them be more horror focused. So they're more f fitting with the theme of m my uh, self. so I can beat you up. There we go. <coughs> uh. I do wish that the cough would go away, but that might be a bit... Let's see. So... Trying to figure out where I need to go, because I've been away from this map for a bit. So, I don't remember it quite as well as I previously did. sworn I had already been through this particular part. Unless, like, treasure chests refresh every now and then. So the bats are much harder to actually hit in this game compared to how they were before, I think. Wait, there was that, uh, horse carriage. The horse carriage had, like, a thing that I could grab with this. I 
also apparently haven't been here. So I guess we're going towards the horse carriage. I could grab the lever, but it, oh well. So that was the blood fountain over there. Can't exactly access that because the blood fountain. And then this should be back to the garden area, I think. Yeah, yeah. This is where I want to be. Heal. While airborne, bring your heal down on enemies like the fall of an axe. I don't think I've got a hatchet weapon. Let's see what we got around here. <clears throat> A lot of money. I got another summon. Uh, what does this... Well, I, I don't know what this one does, but we'll see. the look of this area. Yeah, no? Yeah, I had kind of figured such an Easter egg would occur, because I vaguely remembered 
Symphony of the Night and its fairy having something that you can do to get the fairy to sing. An unpleasant game of cat and mouse with the mount mount monsters <laughs> uh, forced me into retreat. But then, while stealing through the garden, I noticed that a blue treasure chest that I had once plundered before had been freshened with a new item. Who on earth could have put that here? Okay, so it is actually intentional. I'm gonna have more money than I know what to do with, aren't I? to God, I'm feeling like that Silver Knight was more useful. The fairy doesn't seem to heal. Ow. apparently. Ow! The Silver Knight just helped my enemy out. Okay, I can't reach that treasure chest just yet, so that will have to wait. And storm. Channel your fighting spirit into your blade, then unleash it. There's a nice save point. Oh, hello, Moose Master. How are you? Is that Shovel Knight? added sound effects? Yeah, I did. I'm probably going to customize them more to be like horror focused later. But for now, uh, this was basically like the test version. It's good that you're doing well. That is legally distinct Shovel Knight. <laughs> swim? Well, yes, but not quite, is what I got gathered from that. It's a uh, Aria of Sorrow type water. Can't really do 
do anything there. together up to three visc vicious uh, strikes by repeating the command. You know, you've arbitrarily told me to farm rats, but you think this is the area... This area has a monster you... Do you actually want to farm? Do you happen to remember what monster, though? like a chest that has weapons come out of it and gives you a passive that increases your luck. Like a mimic. Okay, I will keep an eye out for such a thing. Also using new headphones since the last time I played. And the audio quality is much better. You're a tanky monster. that frog. Summon a lion wheel or whatever the hell. <laughs> As long as it's not like a Dark Souls mimic, I should be fine. Changer.
Perfect. I sound like a cat now. Or a chickmunk. Okay. That door's open. That's nice. One thing I definitely will say is that the 3D isn't, like, bad for the character models. The enemies and, you know, the NPCs all look fine. But I feel like the environment models need at least a little more to them. They're the only things that I would say need work. Because, like, there are parts of the map that just don't look very nice, especially in this area. I've certainly seen worse, like, world models. But, like, there... I think it has something to do with the way the, uh... bump mapping is done on these walls. But it looks really weird. Like, I can see what they were trying for, but it doesn't look the greatest. can see where I'm coming from with that. I'd hope so. Because <laughs> otherwise, then I'm just spouting nonsense. The walls, floor, and ceiling are all distinct from the movable area, but despite being detailed, they blend into a single chunk of screen you can't walk through. Exactly.
And I think it's really at its worst in this, like, particular area. Because in other areas, it's not too bad, or at least the areas that I've been to so far, it's not too bad. I would not be surprised if this area was rushed to completion. Steel equipment. I think it's because the coloration of the floor and ceiling are so similar in palette to the background art. Maybe. I think also a part of what le lends itself to uh, being less appealing to look at is also the fact that just... It... Like, the polygon count is not very high here. At least not for the main walkable environment. The background looks like it's higher detail than the actual space that we are on. something to be able to swim first. That said, the fact that it is 3D probably also is why a lot of, uh... Hold on. Critical ring. Oh, you know what it might be? Those torches are too close to the screen layer-wise. Mmm, maybe. I feel like it's a bunch of things like, all run into one. Like, uh, this pillar right here, you can see the seam on it. Like, where the texture doesn't fully repeat as it's supposed to. And then, the way the lighting is on these walls makes it look like it's, I don't know, like a velvet. Like, you know those suits? They usually kind of like soft to the touch, but they have like this weird reflective look to them. That's what that wall reminds me of right now. Ugh. It's honestly just like a whole bunch of things ain't lining up as they should be. Actually, come to think of it, the ship had a lot of areas that didn't look quite right either. I wonder if this game's problem is just anything that tries to be reflective. In the environment, because the reflective nature of, like, this shovel armor, for example, is fine. too much going on in this little place. I'm outie. 
That said, it could also look worse. It could look like Castlevania 64. I actually still own the cartridge to uh, both Castlevania 64 and Legacy of Darkness. And to be perfectly honest, those games are not good. Like. That's not exactly a hot take. Most people could tell you they aren't good. I imagine those might be worth something. Uh... Oof. They'd probably be worth, like, a penny. Because I don't know why anyone would want to buy them. Not a good situation to be in. I don't really have much to heal with. If anything. Yeah, so all of this does not heal. Nine HP. That was close. Okay. Pretty sure that money just fell into the uh, floor. <laughs> to be honest, though, 3D Castlevania is really weird in that. I don't know if I'd really consider it bad. It's just, like, a bad idea. It's just the execution of most of the 3D Castlevania games is very poor. 
Because Castlevania Curse of Darkness is the closest to a 3D Castlevania that I would say is good. It has its faults, but I definitely would say that it also has the potential to be a really good game. trying to figure out where to go or just trying to get there. Uh, right now what I'm trying to accomplish is just covering map because uh, there's this portion right here that's empty. I could probably also try to get over this way. that kind of need to actually yeah be useful. Go back and jump through those arches to fill in that space in the Arterium room. Probably not. Like, I could probably fill in the space if I were to be able to jump on there, but I don't know if I can. Hand is the problem. Oh, 
Oh, I can. Okay, so that does work. It can be hard to tell sometimes. Ah, I missed. Well, now I have to get all the jumps. You know, if I jump on time, the 3D environment makes it tricky to tell what's an interactable sometimes. Yeah, though that isn't exactly an issue specifically with 3D, because some of the 2D Metroidvanias were also tricky. Ah, why is the jump feel delayed in this game? healing item. Well, we got that covered at least. It's really tight on the platforming for that. is always nice. Save point. Actually, here's one thing I'll say. Like, this area, like, this location, not specifically this room, even though it still looks nice. This area tends to look a lot better than that cave area. Bridge of Evil. Dog? Oh, it's a dog with some range on it. Oh! <laughs> 
very moody area. Also, I got a tail? Oh. A charming prize taken from a murderous rabbit lady thing. <laughs> That's about how I describe things. of twin dragons. Oh, oh. We got a rotating camera. I'm going to guess someone on the dev team was like, uh, are we sure we're utilizing the 3D to its full capabilities? And then someone on the other... Other side of the team is just like, all right, what if rotating tower? You know, like that one level in, what was it? Bloodlines? Was it Bloodlines with the weird, like, rotating tower level? I think it was Bloodlines. More haircuts. Perfect. Now, if only I could find something that also changes the dress. Not that Miriam's dress is uh, terrible, but I'd like to have more fashion options. What? Huh? I was not a fan of this section, Eaton concept, but awful for trying to figure out where the piece of map is missing and rep level awareness. Yeah, I'm noticing that real quick. you've amassed. How does it feel to command the power of demons? It feels like nothing. Just power. And so long as I'm in control of it, human power. You're a fool if you think you can soak up that much of their devil tree and still call yourself human. I'm not the fool here. And I will never give in to you or them. <laughs> never say never, Mia. I have you now, Chibul. The Libra Logaith belongs to me, and I shall see it returned. How are you still even alive? I take no orders from a dead man walking! Yeah! 
And now you die. My next attack will not miss. Master, you must conserve your energy for King Bale. <clears throat> so I must. You are lucky, old man. <sighs> Lost him. Alfred, I won't let you use the Lieber Logaiath to plunge the world into... I must give chase while the trail is still fresh. Well, I certainly was there for that, I guess. Power Slash. Resist Thunder. I don't know what's up with the chairs in this game. So I'm going to guess the chair side quest from Curse of Darkness is back. Come to think of it, I actually completed the chair quest. Or... Maybe not completed it, but I got really close to completing it in Curse of Darkness. There are certain doors that are open by holding Miriam's arm. Okay, you've already said that like a couple of times now. This is an interesting concept, but I feel like these uh, bookcases take too long to open. Another chair. Though, not all of the chairs look completely unique from each other, so I'm not entirely sure if this is the same quest. Because in Curse of Darkness, the whole thing was sit in every different type of chair there was in the game. Hi, Jellycat. Thank you for the raid. 
How'd your stream go? Welcome, Snacko. We're playing uh, Bloodstained here. It's a Castlevania type game, but legally distinct. <laughs> XY1765, half a year has passed since I began my studies on demonology, and I haven't been able to conjure much more than a fart thus far. My old friend insists that he has seen the Leaper of Legaeth summon a friendly spirit, that I need only invert the right. And yet, try as I may, scour the library as I may, I have naught to show for my efforts. I cannot count how many pre permutations of the right I have attempted. My methods are correct. Is it my materials that fail me? What is missing? A human sacrifice? No, I must try more catalysts. The crystal I discovered continues to grow ever so slowly. Watching it has become my sole joy. How did you find the game? This is much darker than Pokemon, yes. Uh, what do you mean by uh, find the game, though? Like, how did I find out about it, or how do I feel about it? The ladder. I actually really like it so far. I can help you with, human. Hmm. That aura about you. <gasps> You're a vampire! And what of it? Will you murder me for that alone? I've picked no quarrel with you. <sighs> My name is Orlog Dracul, but you may call me O.D. I oversee this library, Miss... Miriam. Am I permitted to take out books from this library of yours. Of course, Miriam. Although you would be my first human patron. The books here are magical tomes that impart power to their readers. As long as you are here, why not avail yourself of their boons? Huh. The game's called Bloodstained, of course. She's a vampire lady. Uh... I don't know, because at the same time, this is like the first vampire we've seen. Everything else is Shardbinder this, Alchemist that. That's a bit different, I guess. You finished it but had mixed feelings about it. I can understand that. Be certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. Hang on a minute. Okay. I see that little hole right back down here. It's going to be just like the uh, librarian from uh, Symphony of the Night, where I can, like, jump right up there and send him crashing into the ceiling. It feels so stiff. I can see that. Parts of it do feel fairly stiff in comparison to other uh, games of this nature. Should go back and craft a few things. And while most of the game looks fairly solid, I do feel that the caves area does not look very good. It's good to see. So, what'll it be? Fortunately, never played Metroid nor Castlevania, so your point of reference will always be Hollow Knight or Dory. Now, on my end, I have played a bunch of Metroid and Castlevania. Cowboy hat. I'll go with this. You 
can't give me a cowboy hat and expect me not to immediately wear it. And both of them were significantly better than any other Metroidvania you've played. You see, I haven't played a whole bunch of either of them myself right yet. Plan to give Hollow Knight a shot after this at some point. Silk Song can't come soon enough. Well, that's partially why I plan to play uh, other games first. I do I like know, luck. Guess. Luck is really nice to have. Still don't have enough to craft anything. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Helicus. Can I craft this Helicus? I can. There, all done. I'll go with this. There, all done. And an another Pelicus? Oh, I appear to not be able to make any more of them. I need more iron. Cowboy hat. A book written by an alchemist named John D. It's written in Enochian script, which is said to be the language of angels. The book has the power to summon good spirits. But demons are not good spirits. Power is power. If you can summon good spirits, then all it takes is some changes to the structure of the right to summon something else entirely. I suppose that makes sense. Key researchers come up with some Whoops. It turns out I don't care about the plot. <laughs> Dominique, I found a gate that's locked by what seems to be some kind of contraption. Do you have any ideas how I might get through? Where was it? I saw what looked like a train on the other side. Well, I have heard tales of a demon train, one so prestigious that only a handful of the Brethren of the Dark may use it. Brethren of the Dark? Oh, you know, vampires and the like. Vampires. Want to have a look at my wares? It might give you an idea. What are you looking to buy? Oh, I could just buy a pelicus. Then we have a deal. Thank you. Hi, Miriam. So, what'll it be? Make my uh, great sword even stronger. There, all done. I cannot do the next one without making another flambert. 
So, Johannes, you and uh. Don. <laughs> yes, for example. And she. She even helped us. Stop as talking, as please. Okay, word of advice to uh, developers uh, for both this game and any what it, like any new games that may come in. If you're going to have dialogue for characters that like sell stuff, have it be something that the player specifically chooses when it starts. Like have a talk command that lights up if there's something new. As opposed to just being like, oh, by the way. Ow. Okay. I guess I can't quite go there. I'll need to do some teleporting around instead. Because I'm pretty sure this is locked too. No? Oh, it's a boss door. too hard. Double jump. About time. Feather crown. Oh, it's just straight up better in every way. Also, finally started uh, AM2R after you know seeing it recommended to me for God knows how long, and I gotta say I'm kind of surprised that I held off on it as long as I did. It's been pretty good. Still a shame that, you know, it got hit with that good old DMCA from Nintendo, but I guess that's to be expected, given that they also wanted to make their own uh, Metroid 2 remake. But if anyone wants to try getting into the Metroid series, I would strongly recommend probably starting with uh, Zero Mission. While that is a Game Boy Advance game, it does have quite a bit of good content for it, and, you know, it's just a better version of the first game.
There's not much reason to play the original Metroid at this point. And when it comes to Metroid 2, I'd say about the same thing, except you want to play either AM2R, you know, if you're willing to at least do some minor digging online. Or if you have a 3DS, you can try uh, the... What's it? Samus Returns on the 3DS. That thing just spaghettified all over the place. Apparently those bugs do that, like, all the time. Max up. A nice little level up. The bugs continuing to spaghettify. Fortunately, I just got done doing the uh, clock tower in Castlevania 3. Which, if anyone's played Castlevania 3, knows exactly why that's a pain. But, for those who don't know, uh, there's a lot of Medusa heads in the old Castlevania clock towers. And I really do mean, like, a lot of them. What the hell? It's a very weird way to design the minimap, but okay. get an upgrade to that shield spell. Hyperventilator? Sunglass? <laughs> oh, it takes off my da dance mask if I wear the sunglasses. I will check that pitfall in just a moment. I want to check this out. Ouch. That's kind of brutal.
<laughs> Not the greatest uh, performance on my part. Poison. This place is so zoomed out. Looks like we're gonna have to climb up the gears here. Poison is a status effect that it doesn't matter like what game it is, it's always my least favorite. So some games have iterations of poison that I dis like dislike more. Like uh old generation like one through three Pokemon. Poison was actually able to faint your Pokemon. And that was hell. Especially if you got, like, poisoned in a forest or something. Ah. Gotta give that a shot again, because I saw a treasure chest at the end of that. stronger. It also appears to be a unique weapon. Thank you. 
Okay, I got a homing move now. I'll just go back there since it's got a save point and that can give me my health back. I can also get rid of the Flamberg now. Are you so what'll it be? I'll go with this. There, all done. Did you see the Eastern man in the red armor? He was at Dominique's supply post. You mean Zangetsu? Be careful around that one. <laughs> he thinks shard binders and alchemists are as bad as demons. <laughs> he said he'd cut us down if he saw us again. Well, we did technically start all this. But I agree, he doesn't need to be so savage. Those scars on his body tell the story of a rough life. Oh, well then I'd better keep my distance. That you should. <laughs> Alright, now that we are no longer on death's door, why don't we check on Sengetsu, since he's apparently here? Or not. Kill over and die than spend another moment in a living hell like this one. Oh, don't say that. Never you mind me, young lady. What's your name? I'm Susie. Miriam. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, uh, I do enjoy a good meal, but I can't remember the names of the dishes I like. I'll help you figure it out. I promise. I suppose I'll stick around and wait a little while longer. It's good to see. What are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. Great! I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. Oh, you often bring up your promise to Jibel, but only vaguely, never in detail. Really? Yes. Are you ever going to tell me the whole story? Well, back then, the experiments left me feeling stripped of my humanity. The pain from the crystal was a constant reminder. At one point, I lost my will to live entirely. Jibel and I got into a fight over some stupid thing. And I shouted, How long are you going to pretend you're human? We're monsters now. But I'll never forget what he said to me. If we ask for the demon's power, then we're monsters. But if people force us to take it, then our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. That freedom of choice is proof we're human. It cheered me right up. I felt like a person again. And that was when we promised to stop each other. If we ever lost the ability to choose. Ah, sorry. I know it's a long story. No. No. I'm glad I asked about it. And that you were willing to tell me. Of course. Got any targets for me? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Good work. Here's your reward. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help. 
report to the ca kill those m got any target here's what i've turned up on the monsters help dan kill those mad have you learned it here's what i've turned up help ed kill those mad got any here's what i've turned help sh kill those mad got it uh, I wish I could just accept like multiple quests in uh, in a row instead of having to do it this way. Oh well. Special ammunition. That seems important. I've done it. Whilst small, the creature I summoned was most assuredly a demon. I thought I was clutching at straws when I tried using the crystal as a medium, but what power? Distressingly, my small demon nearly devastated the guild before I could destroy it. The thought of a whole army crossing over sends chills up my spine. The demon we vanquished produced a red crystal. I'm calling this a shard to differentiate it from the white crystal, but both are strange and fascinating. The crystal exhibits a kind of magnetic pull to the shard, suggesting it may be capable of binding with the shard's demonic power. How do I make more of it? You don't. Oh, hello, Spikes. Alright, new book. Helm Splitter. Sword... Did that say Swordfish? It did. Apparently there's a weapon in this game called Swordfish. Wonder if it's actually the fish. A golden chest.
Another boss. So that's what this room was about. It's a boss room. I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to deal with that. I feel like I partially broke the game. <laughs> Cause that that seems like uh something went wrong, at least with the camera. Well, the boss is dealt with. It was interesting? Can't really say how I feel about it, because it was kind of over before I even got used to it. Let's get the map cleared. to be stuff at the very top. If this entire tower was supposed to be, like, actually gone down throughout, like, the entire fight, uh, I feel as though I had skipped a little bit. Okay, I guess there wasn't anything worth checking. 
with this. I think that boss fight had like two grab moves. But I only really got hit with one in a way that dealt damage. I'm not sure if the other one hurt me or not. Oh, there's nothing here. Nothing at all, huh? That's weird. Okay, so... Trying to think of where I need to go next. Maybe this. I do have a double jump now. I'm not sure what it will allow me to reach that I couldn't before. Sacred Shade and temporarily increases your stats. That could prove useful. another fairy easter egg maybe Nope, doesn't seem like anything. At least not with what I have.
Oh. That'll be useful. looks cool, but it doesn't seem to be super useful. to see if I can improve that some. Are you so? What'll it be? I'll go with this. I'll go with this. If you ever encounter a demon named Bale, run. I haven't. Because he's the most powerful of the 72 demons. A quick escape may be the only thing that saves you. Arise, myself and my shadow! Are you eating? So, what'll it be? I'll go with this. 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 Pace yourself out there. All right. I think actually I'm going to call it right here. Because I do want to practice on German before I get around to doing Pokemon on Wednesday. So. Let's see what we got here. Well, we'll continue the trend further of raiding Naito, who is currently playing Morrowind. And again, thank you, Kishiru, uh, Jellycat for the raid, Snacko, Moose Master, Gabe. Thank you all for showing up, and I hope you all have a lovely day, and ciao.